Airsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Hey, what's up, GI TV? My name is Tim. Today we're going to be going over kind of a new gun. And the reason I say kind of is because it is another AEG M4. But what makes it new is the fact that KWA have never offered a gun in this exact configuration before. And that's what makes it really unique and something that I really like. And I'll explain a little more later. But first, the standard feature on this, features on this gun, we have the aluminum body, which houses the 2GX gearbox and 2GX hop-up that KWA is really known for. Something that is kind of unique is the K120 polymer mid-cap that comes with the gun. We have the standard AEG M4 crane stock that I like a lot. Number one, these pull tabs are less prone to breaking than other crane stock designs, but also the KWA crane stock is engineered really well in the fact that you can fit an 11 light poly brick in the back portion of the stock here or the nunchuck type light poly batteries that go into the stock tubes. That's a really cool design. Other than that, we have a 10 and a half inch barrel triangle sights and the standard handguard. And that is probably the feature that I like the most about it because this gun is wired to the back. Obviously, I just showed you the wires in the crane stock, which means these handguards can be removed really easily to make one of my favorite guns, which is the Mark 18. Now, you can use your standard 7-inch two-piece carbine rail system. I happen to grab this one off of an existing KM4 wrist. I'm going to put it back on later. But you can buy these two-piece rail systems made for the real gun style Delta Ring AEGs for as little as 50 bucks these days. So it's a relatively simple and affordable modification that you can do to your gun, especially because you don't have to worry about any of the wires or the battery or anything like that because all of that goes into the back of the gun. So I'm just going to pull the D-ring down, install our rail system real quickly. And we've already begun the makings of our Navy SEAL Mark 18. There you go. With absolutely no tools and a couple of minutes, you've increased the you know combat effectiveness of this gun quite a bit because now you can mount awesome accessories such as this PEC-15. This happens to be the VFC PEC-15 that has the light and laser unit. On one of the Mark 18s that I built years ago, I think I put a PEC-2 on it. Um, it's kind of the older, bigger style pec box, and that's just because that's the only one I had at the time. But these are kind of the newer pec boxes. They're a lot slimmer, and they look a little bit cooler. Also on the handguard, I'm going to install my M900 replica. Um, if you don't have one of these, or if you don't have a vertical flashlight integrated grip, you can always just use a standard broomstick um, vertical grip with any other flashlight that you have at the time and mount it on this side rail right here. Don't worry, no one's going to judge you. And of course, wouldn't be a Mark 18 without our aim point with the very tall mount that we can see above our iron sights. And boom, there we go. With a $50 rail system, the KM4 Commando, and a couple of accessories, we've got ourselves a pretty cool, slightly customized AEG that didn't require any tools to install and was put together in literally under five minutes. So check out the KM4 Commando on our website. It's for sale for $259.95. That's also pretty unique for KWA and the fact that their AEGs are really coming down in price a lot. So for $260 essentially for this gun, a $50 rail system for $310, you are on the way to making your very own Mark 18. You can see how awesome this thing looks and it is very, very effective on the battlefield. So check out this gun on Airsoft GI. My name is Tim. Thanks for watching GI TV. Oh, 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 oh,